The Marvel Universe is dying. Godlike beings known as the Beyonders have decided to wipe out all life in the multiverse. All across the multiverse, alternate realities are colliding with one another, creating incursions that destroy entire universes. Already, most of the multiverse has been obliterated. The only universes left in existence are Earth-616, the central Marvel Universe, and Earth-1610, the Ultimates Universe. These two universes are on a collision course that threatens to annihilate everything. Groups like S.H.I.E.L.D., the Illuminati, and the Avengers have all tried to stop the ending of the multiverse, but nothing can prevent the end. Everyone is desperate to save their reality at any cost, even if it means destroying another universe to do it. This is The Secret Wars. Secret Wars 2015, number one. The end of the world is fast approaching. In their own way, both heroes and villains are doing what they can to save as much as they can. Doctor Doom, Doctor Strange, and the Molecule Man, a living bomb created by the Beyonders to destroy the multiverse, are confronting those that seek to destroy their world. Back in the multiverse, the last two universes in existence are mere minutes from colliding. Aboard the Triskelion, the headquarters of S.H.I.E.L.D., the Earth-1610 Nick Fury is planning his next move. He is in a conversation with the Maker, the Ultimates version of Mr. Fantastic that turned evil. The Maker informs Fury that the only way to save Earth-1610 is to destroy Earth-616 before the incursion completes and all reality is erased. Reluctantly, Fury agrees and prepares for a multiversal war. Within his compound known as the City, the Maker explains to Thanos and his Cabal that he lied to Fury. There is no way to stop the destruction of both universes, but he needed Fury to fight to buy them more time for his secret plan. Manhattan is the incursion point of both worlds, and it's where the war is in full swing. Earth-616's heroes defend the planet against the army of helicarriers that Fury is invaded with. Characters like Spider-Man do their best to save as many civilians as possible. In the Baxter Building, Black Panther works alongside the Fantastic Four to build a life raft that can save a select number of people to rebuild the human race after the incursion. Black Widow is on the way there to deliver the Chosen Resurrection Team, but is having some trouble dodging the explosions and falling buildings caused by Fury's army. T'Challa talks to the mutant Manifold, who is strapped into a machine designed to amplify his powers and reminds him of their plan in case Black Widow doesn't make it in time. It's his job to use his powers to teleport the Resurrection Team on board the life raft if they don't make it in time. He is ready for the worst case scenario. Outside, Earth-1610's Iron Man has brought his own army of machines to assist in Fury's invasion. Despite the Ultimate Universe's impressive weaponry, 616's heroes are quickly gaining the upper hand. Unexpectedly, a group of Sentinels appears with the X-Men Cyclops leading them. He orders the Sentinels to keep everyone away while he prepares something. Iron Man reports to Fury and tells him that they're losing badly. Most of their helicarriers have been knocked out of the sky. Fury is about to call reinforcements when the Hulk, She-Hulk, and Colossus come crashing through their base of command. The three of them tip over the building with Fury and Hawkeye inside. In his last moments, Fury calls the Maker and tells him to win the fight before dying in a massive explosion. The Maker then opens the dome surrounding the city and launches a fleet of highly advanced airships that continue the attack on Earth-616. While chaos reigns from the sky, New York's villains have all gathered to watch the heroes die. Unfortunately for them, the Punisher show up to kill as many of them as possible before the world ends. One of the Maker's ships managed to shoot down Black Widow's jet, killing her and the resurrection team she was delivering. The worst case scenario has finally come true, and it's time to start Plan B. Manifold activates his powers to save who he can before it's too late. At the same time, Cyclops' plan is finally ready as well. The Phoenix Egg that Cyclops brought has finally hatched and infused him with the Phoenix Force. On the ground, the Guardians of the Galaxy are surrounded by the Maker's forces and are fighting for their lives. Rocket Raccoon is shot down by a laser as Star-Lord vanishes in a flash of light. Other heroes begin to disappear too. Jane Foster, the current Thor, Spider-Man, and Captain Marvel are all teleported away by Manifold. He tells those inside the Baxter Building to leave him behind as the life raft launches. It's also revealed that the Maker has made his own life raft for himself and the members of the Cabal. With the last of his power, Manifold also manages to teleport Cyclops to the life raft. Only a handful of people have made it safely to the life raft, but there's no time left to save anyone else. The ship gets caught in a lightning storm that blows a hole in the hull that sucks out the Human Torch, the Thing, the Invisible Woman, and Franklin and Valeria Richards. Susan manages to temporarily save everyone with one of her force fields, but it won't last long. Mr. Fantastic prepares to grab them, but before he can, they disappear. 
almost all of Marvel's first family are gone. With nothing else left to do, the life raft flies into the great unknown. Earth-616 and Earth-1610 collide, leaving a vast nothingness behind. Nothing in all of reality remains, except for Doom. Before we continue with the end of the Marvel Multiverse, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on to never miss an upload, and smash that like button for some plot armor today! Secret Wars 2015 Number 2 In the wake of the incursion, a new world has been born. Our introduction to this world is a ceremony where a recruit has been chosen to become Thor. After lifting the hammer, the new recruit is congratulated by an elder Thor who leads this Thor army. In this strange reality, the law is upheld by a battalion of Thors that all worship Doctor Doom as a god. The elder takes the new Thor on his first mission as they leave their high seat in Doomguard. In the far-off kingdom of Utopolis, Minister Powers and his team arrive at a dig site where a strange object was recently uncovered by an earthquake. The team goes in and discovers one of the life rafts that had been launched just before the incursion. Minister Powers orders the workers to fully excavate the ship. Elsewhere, the Thors fly through the kingdom that make up this new world. They briefly pass by Higher Avalon, which is controlled by Baron James Braddock, known as Captain Britain back in 616. Eventually, the Thors reach their destination, Bar Sinister, the domain of Baron Sinister. The Thors have come to escort Sinister to Castle Doom so he can stand trial for the crime of discord. Sinister is teleported to the High Court by the Thors where everyone is waiting, including the God Emperor himself, Doom. With everyone in attendance, Doctor Strange, the Sheriff of Akamoto, calls the court to order. He is the right hand of God Doom, and as such, he will act as judge. Strange informs Sinister that he has been accused by Baron Braddock of conspiring with Baron Hyperion to undermine Higher Avalon. Sinister denies the charges and instead demands a trial by combat against the younger brother of Baron Braddock, Brian. He accepts and both combatants are given stun sticks to battle until one falls unconscious. Mr. Sinister rushes forward, but with one strike, Brian cuts his head clean off. The crowd erupts in cheers over Brian's apparent victory, but Sinister's headless body rises. In a flurry of quick blows, Sinister knocks Brian out and prepares to finish him off until he's stopped by God Doom. With a single command, everyone falls to their knees before Doom. He commands Brian to reveal the location of a secret rebel organization called the Silent Chamber that has been plotting to overthrow Doom. Brian claims not to know the group's location, which displeases Doom. He orders Brian's eyes, tongue, hands, and feet removed. Suddenly, Baron Braddock steps forward and reveals that it is he who is working with the Silent Chamber against Doom. At first, Doom orders the entire family to be killed, but is convinced to show mercy by his wife, Susan Von Doom. Doom's new judgment is for Brian to be named the new Baron of Higher Avalon and for James Braddock to be sent to the Shield. The court is disbanded and Valeria Von Doom asks to speak with Sheriff Strange. In this strange world, Valeria acts as the left hand of her father and is in charge of the Foundation, an organization that studies the science of Doom's world. She informs Strange that the ship discovered by the Foundation is older than the creation of their world. Immediately, Strange orders a quarantine in the area. In the early morning, James Braddock is brought to the Shield, a massive wall that surrounds the world. James dons his armor and sword before leaping from the wall and into the Deadlands. Beyond the wall, a horde of undead zombies swarms James. The dead aren't the only thing that the wall keeps out. It also defends against the seasonal invasion of the drone army called the Annihilation Wave and the army of robots created by the Ultron AI. Back at Castle Doom, the Thors inform Strange that the former Baron James died to the zombies. Strange orders the Thors to quarantine the dig site surrounding the life raft. The Thors arrive and prepare to clean the area off, but are interrupted by one of the workers accidentally opening the life raft. Instantly, the Elder is pierced by a spear. He orders the recruit to flee and report to Sheriff Strange that death has arrived. The Elder is killed by a flurry of weapons as the Cabal emerges from the ship. The Maker quickly realizes that they're no longer in their native universes. One of the workers is captured and brought to Thanos who harshly questions him about the nature of this world. The worker informs him that this is a reality created by God Doom called Battle World. Secret Wars 2015 Number 3 Within the throne room of Castle Doom, Sheriff Strange informs God Doom of all the happenings in his realm. This bores Doom, but Strange reminds him that he may be all-powerful, but he isn't all-knowing. It's his job to monitor any potential dangers that may arise. Strange also reveals that he remembers a time when Doom wasn't a god and that he had the option of becoming the ruler of this world. Doom retorts that Strange didn't want to be this world's god. 
Before they can continue, Strange receives a message from Thors. At the excavation site, Strange and Thors investigate and discover that the Cabal fled the scene after murdering the Elder. Strange sends the Thors out to search for them and finds Miles Morales, the Spider-Man of Earth-1610, hiding in the life raft. Miles reveals that he snuck aboard the life raft right as it took off. Most importantly, he also reveals that he remembers the world before Doom, which shocks Strange. Back at Castle Doom, Susan and Doom are having a conversation about the fate of her brother, the Human Torch. According to Doom, Johnny rebelled against him. Susan decided that the Human Torch's punishment was to be forced into becoming the Son of Battle World. Now the common people sing songs about the man in the sun, and some even worship him. Doom confides to Susan that sometimes he wonders if the only flaw in his perfect world is him. Even with his godlike powers, the only thing that Doom cannot fix is his disfigured face. In another part of the world, Strange teleports himself, Miles, and the new Thor to the hidden Isle of Agamotto. Strange informs them that he found another life raft long ago. The young Thor opens the ship and frees the heroes from Earth-616. The heroes question Strange about where and when they are. He tells them that it's been eight years since the world ended, and that Victor Von Doom is God here. Strange also confesses that he found their life raft three years ago, but chose not to open it. His only justification is that Doom is a good god. During the night in the desert, the Cabal attempt to learn more about this world and plan their next step. They are interrupted by a small army of Thors descending from the sky. Secret Wars 2015, number four. As the battle between the Thors and the Cabal rages on, Strange tells everyone that this world was formed from broken pieces of different Earths fused by Doom. When Strange, Doom, and the Molecule Man met the Beyonders, they killed them and stole their powers. The thought of omnipotence scared Strange, so Doom took out the mantle of God. None of the heroes are happy about this revelation, but before they can act, the young Thor receives a distress signal from his hammer. In the desert, the Thors are being decimated by the Cabal, so they directly ask for God Doom's help. Through their eyes, Doom watches the battle and has Valeria analyze the potential outcome. Valeria and Susan believe that Doom should intervene, but Strange and the heroes arrive at that moment. They begin to turn the tide of battle when Susan spots Mr. Fantastic and is drawn to him. Noticing the return of his archenemy, Doom instantly leaves the castle and appears on the battlefield. As a small display of his power, Doom shatters the ground and lifts all the heroes in the air. The only one who can oppose Doom is Cyclops and his Phoenix abilities. With a blast of his power, he manages to melt Doom's armor. Just as it appears that Cyclops is won, Doom stands and lifts him in the air with one arm. Sheriff Strange knows what is about to happen and begins preparing a spell. At the same time that Doom breaks Cyclops' neck, Strange teleports both the Cabal and the heroes away. Doom demands that Strange bring them back to him, but he refuses. With a single wave of his hand, Doom eradicates Strange, turning him to dust. The Sheriff of Agamotto and the right hand of God has died. Secret Wars 2015, number five. The next morning, a grand funeral is held for the former Doctor Strange. A massive statue of him is erected alongside the statue of the Molecule Man. During the funeral, it's revealed that Jane Foster has infiltrated the Thor army. Doom has told the public that it was the heroes that murdered Strange, which motivates many people, including Franklin, to want revenge. Later that night, Doom talks to his daughter Valeria underneath the statue of Strange. She has been tasked with locating the heroes and the Cabal. Valeria tries to push Doom for more information about what happened to Strange, but he warns her not to question him and sends her away. Underneath the statue of Molecule Man, Doom enters a secret bunker that leads to a void of white light. Within that void is the Molecule Man floating upside down. He asks Doom for something to eat, but he doesn't bring anything. Doom reveals to Molecule Man that Stephen Strange is dead. Molecule Man retells the story of how the Beyonders created the multiverse and how they got bored with life, so they started planning death. They created a version of the Molecule Man in every universe, with a plan to set him off and destroy all creation. Their plan was foiled when Doom convinced Molecule Man to help him kill his variants across the multiverse. This plan failed to stop the destruction of the multiverse and drove the Molecule Man insane. Eventually, Doctor Strange joined their group and helped to create a better bomb that could kill the Beyonders. After their death, they stored the Beyonders' powers in Molecule Man. Doom used that power to create Battle World. Secret War 2015, number six. Over the next three weeks, Doom's search for the life raft survivors has had little results. Most of the survivors have escaped his clutches except two members of the Cabal, Corvus Glaive and Proxima Midnight. They were captured by Baron Apocalypse. 
The Black Swan also turned herself in to Doom and has been providing him with small pieces of information. Besides that, they have no idea where the survivors are. In addition to looking for the survivors, the Foundation has also been searching for the source of Doom's power. The team has managed to pinpoint that the source is underneath Doom Castle. While hiding, the Maker and Mr. Fantastic have formed a tentative alliance and created a secret base. The Maker has created a rebel army led by a man called the Prophet who marches towards Castle Doom. Mr. Fantastic has been working on discovering how Doom gained his god powers. To solve this problem, he has sent the Spider-Man on a mission. Both Peter and Miles have infiltrated Castle Doom and are searching for the source of his power with a device created by Reed. They eventually reach the statue of Molecule Man and stumble upon Valeria, who is also searching. They tell her that no one from the life rafts killed Strange, and she tells them that the source is hidden underneath the statue. Within the bunker, the Spider-Men find the Molecule Man. He asks them for something to eat. Surprisingly, Miles produces a three-week-old burger that he had forgotten was in his pocket. The Molecule Man happily takes the burger and tells them that he is the source of Doom's power. While this is happening, Doom holds a meeting with his barons about the rising problem of the Prophet. He commands them to handle the situation. After the meeting ends, Baron Sinister plots his next move with Captain Marvel, who's been hiding in his domain. On the Isle of Agamotto, Black Panther and Namor have discovered Strange's Sanctum Santorum. With the key given to them by Strange, they enter the Santorum and face one final challenge. A projection of Stephen Strange asks them for the secret phrase known only to the Illuminati. Memento Mori Illuminatus. After passing Strange's final test, Black Panther and Namor are given two powerful objects. The Siege Courageous, a device that can teleport them anywhere they wish, and a fully functional Infinity Gauntlet. This weapon may be the only thing that can strike down God Doom. Thanos has made his way to the shield and discovered the truth about the wall that protects the world. Doom had convinced the Thing to abandon his family and become the shield. Thanos reveals the truth to the Thing. Doom manipulated him so that Ben wouldn't get in his way. This revelation convinces the Thing to finally stand up. A colossal version of the Thing rises, destroying the shield as he marches for Castle Doom. Secret Wars 2015, number seven. The day of war has finally come. The Prophet's army has finally reached the walls of Castle Doom. Just before the battle begins, the Prophet gives a speech to inspire his troops and reveals his real identity. The Prophet is Maximus Boltagon, and he's ready to have some fun. From his throne room, Doom watches the battle with his wife, daughter, and the Black Swan. He orders his Thor army to join the battle. On the battlefield, Maximus is quickly ripped apart by the Goblin Horde as Captain Marvel and Baron Sinister watch. Captain Marvel tells Sinister that it's time for his clone army to switch sides. Sinister and Captain Marvel attack Baroness Madeline Pryor. Just before they defeat her, Sinister is decapitated by one of Apocalypse's horsemen. Above the battlefield, the Doom Guard castle arrives, but the Thor army doesn't arrive. Inside, the Thors are having a civil war of their own. Jane Foster and the young Thor have convinced some of the armies that Doom is a false god. Jane leads a battalion of defectors into the battle. The battle has turned into absolute chaos now. Doom realizes that he has been betrayed. Even more armies begin to join the war. From above, Baron Maestro arrives in a massive airship. He orders his world breakers to descend into the battle. From the ship, an army of hulks rain down and join the fighting. From their secret base, the Maker and Mr. Fantastic prepare to sneak into Castle Doom in a small jet piloted by Star-Lord. Before they leave, Reed calls T'Challa and leaves him to start their own plan. T'Challa and Namor arrive at the shield and blow a hole in the side of it. Black Panther commands the undead to travel through the Siege Courageous and join the battle at Castle Doom. Even the dead want a piece of this war. Secret Wars 2015, number eight. The battle outside Castle Doom has turned into complete mayhem. Multiple powerful armies are tearing into one another as Star-Lord, Mr. Fantastic, and the Maker fly overhead. Unfortunately, their jet gets attacked by a Hulk soldier that rips a wing off, sending them spiraling into the castle. From his airship, Baron Maestro shouts that he plans to usurp Doom after his army wins the battle. Before that dream becomes reality, though, the Thing arrives on the battlefield and destroys the airship and Maestro with it. The Thing isn't the only gargantuan creature in this fight. Franklin Von Doom challenges the Thing with his Galactus Sentinel. Inside the castle, Star-Lord, the Maker, and Mr. Fantastic survive the crash. The two reeds tell Star-Lord to repair the ship while they hunt for the source of Doom's power. Susan watches in horror as she watches her closest friend and her son try to kill one another. Susan begs Doom to do something about this, but he denies a request. 
He realizes that if the shield is gone, then that means the other armies outside their walls are free to invade. At that moment, Thanos arrives leading the Annihilation Wave. This is enough to convince Doom to join the battle. As the thing in Franklin Brawl, Ben learns that Franklin is Susan's son. Because he's unwilling to fight his family, he allows himself to be killed by Franklin's Galactus. Susan is devastated, but Valeria leads her away to show her something important. While Star-Lord is trying to repair the ship, the Black Swan attacks him. Before she can kill him, he manages to plant a splinter of Groot into the Yggdrasil tree. Suddenly, the entire tree turns into a giant Groot that destroys most of the castle. Groot the World Tree rises to challenge Franklin's Galactus. On the battlefield, Doom is effortlessly destroying waves of the Annihilation Horde until Thanos arrives. Thanos reminds Doom that he used to be a god not too long ago, and that Doom should be bowing to him. Without blinking, Doom rips Thanos' skeleton out of his body and turns him to ash. There can only be one god, and it's Doom. Just as things are starting to look good for Doom, the zombies emerge from the Siege Courageous. Namor and Black Panther with the Infinity Gauntlet tell Doom that his reign ends now. Secret Wars 2015, number 9. The three former kings of Earth-616 are finally on the battlefield. The King of Atlantis, the King of Wakanda, and the King of Latveria stare each other down. With the Infinity Gauntlet, T'Challa turns Doom to stone and Namor shatters him with his spear. Although Doom is in pieces, the fight is far from over. Doom reforms himself and shoots a cosmic blast at his enemies. The blast vaporizes Namor, but Black Panther survives thanks to the Infinity Gauntlet. Doom and T'Challa then battle each other as gods. Near the statue of Molecule Man, Susan and Valeria confront Mr. Fantastic and the Maker. Reed tells Susan that they aren't the people that killed Strange. He's come here to fix things and give everyone their old lives back. As Doom and Black Panther fight each other with godly power, the two Reeds make their way into the hidden bunker. They find the Molecule Man, who once again asks for something to eat. Mr. Fantastic apologizes for not bringing anything when the Maker enacts his inevitable betrayal. He traps Mr. Fantastic in a temporal bubble that rapidly devolves him into an ape. As the Maker is gloating over his victory, the Molecule Man cuts him into slices and restores Mr. Fantastic. He warns him that Doom is coming soon. As the two kings struggle, Doom manages to get the upper hand and defeats T'Challa. Before he can finish Black Panther off, Doom realizes that this whole thing was a distraction. He teleports to the bunker where Susan and Valeria are waiting for him. Susan asks Doom for the truth, but he doesn't answer her. He only continues towards the bunker. Inside, he finds Mr. Fantastic and the Molecule Man. Doom tries to kill Reed, but his powers stop working. The Molecule Man, for the final time, asks Doom if he brought him anything to eat. When Doom says no, the Molecule Man tells him that he and Reed are equal in his eyes. Without access to his god powers, Doom must fight Mr. Fantastic as a mortal. As the two archenemies fight, they argue over the morality of Doom's decisions. Mr. Fantastic accuses him of stealing his family, but Doom claims that they chose him and that he saved everyone. Reed admits that Doom has done some good with this new world, but that he could have done more. This fight pushes Doom to admit the one thing that he's been afraid of this entire time. He believes that if Reed had been given unlimited power, he would have done a better job of being a god. Victor Von Doom accepts that Reed Richards is a better man than him. His one mistake is saying it out loud. Since both Reed and Doom agree that Mr. Fantastic would be a better god, Molecule Man gives all the power to Reed. All at once, the entirety of Battleworld is erased from existence. T'Challa finds himself on a restored Wakanda, ready to help his people lead humanity to new heights. Eight months after the events of Battleworld, Miles finds himself back in New York, remembering his conversation with the Molecule Man. Because he was the only one to give Molecule Man something to eat, Miles and his family were teleported to the prime Earth of the Marvel Universe, Earth-616. New York now has two Spider-Men protecting it. Out in the multiverse, the Richards family is back together and is working to create new universes. Franklin uses his reality manipulation powers to dream up new universes. Mr. Fantastic uses the omnipotent powers given to him by Molecule Man to spin those dreams off into new universes. Valeria and her Foundation team then go off to explore and catalog these new universes. Every new universe that is created gets its own copy of Molecule Man to act as its anchor. This also helps cure the Molecule Man of his madness. As the Richards family enjoy their time together, we see Doom in his castle in Latveria. He removes his mask and reveals that his face has been completely healed. In the end, Doom was still right. Reed Richards did a better job. What did you think of The Secret Wars? Let us know in the comments. 
Thank you for watching to the end. Until next time, keep that plot armor on you. I'm Alexandra Macedo. Have a great day. Goodbye.